Welcome. In tonight's special event, you will witness a game of audience versus player. The man on your screen will be brought to justice for his wrongdoing to others, while a selected group of viewers will compete against each other in a bidding war. We thank the participants of this event for your entries. Please get ready as the bidding will begin soon. Now it's time to meet tonight's criminal. The person on your screen is Isaac Russell, an ex-military sniper who served his country for eight years until he was OTH discharged for his misconduct towards his fellow soldiers. Isaac served in many missions on foreign countries such as Turkey, Kuwait, South Korea, Iran, and Iraq. He enjoyed taking videos of war, where he would record his outstanding sniper skills towards the enemy. But sadly, many of his recordings include the killings of innocent civilians, which on many occasions included women and children. After his OTH discharge, Isaac started a website on the dark web where he would upload all his POV shots full of cruelty towards these innocent people. When Isaac's task begins, the winner of the bidding will control an M249 machine gun which holds six airsoft rounds. The goal of the game is to hit the targets on the pillars as these are switches to power up the saw blade to terminate Isaac for your enjoyment. Participants, let the bidding war begin. Bidding has ended. Congratulations. Jack Evans. Your computer is now connected to our system. When the light turns green, your window will be open to shoot the first round with the designated keys on your keyboard. What the? What the fuck? Hey, hello? Who's doing this? Hello, Isaac. Welcome, Welcome to your test. Who are you? Right now, you are being watched by many people around the world. One of those people will shortly have control of your fate in this game. I'm gonna kill you! Unless you do something about it. Get me out! The saw blade above you will start spinning whenever a target is hit. Within 10 seconds, it will descend onto you. You have the chance to stop this from happening by pressing the button on your hand. This button will shut off the saw every time it starts spinning. But this action isn't free, Isaac, as every time you press the button, a chemical will be pumped into the goggles you are wearing. There's three different chemicals behind you which combine will cause a reaction that will burn your skin and lead you to blindness. So the question you have to ask yourself is, Please! Are you willing to lose your sight for your life, Isaac? Shit! Your test begins now. Get me out of here! Let me go! Please! Help me!
Dear Nathan, you'll have to forgive my terrible handwriting, but I've been behind a keyboard for long enough, and it's kept me from people and what it means to be human. I hope that you'll have let me say these things to you in person, but if you haven't, I'm begging you to read what follows and trust me one last time. I'm so sorry to you, Nathan. I'm sorry for all that I did, for all the mistakes that I made. I can't take them back no matter how much I want to. I hate myself for helping the wrong person first and for letting myself get caught up where I am now. The angels will not stop. They'll twist and weave their way into your life until they control and manipulate every action you take. I thought I could hold them off, but they have me now. They know I won't truly submit to them this way, so the time I have left is limited. Once my usefulness is exhausted, I'm sure things won't end well. In close, you'll find all that you need to decipher the angel's codes, and I'm giving you my description of the third part. Your past is your entrance. Your present is unstable. Your future is a lesson. Come home to us, angel. If this poem means what I suspect, the danger to you will only increase. I'm confident you'll be able to take good care of yourself and solve the last part on your own, so you can finally put an end to this. Getting to know you these past few weeks, I see that your heart truly is good. Your destiny is to help people, not to hurt them. You're better than all of us. I believe in you. I hope that we meet again someday, in a better world. Until then, my friend, Patrick Clausen. Hello? Yes, Mr. Howard. 
I'll be on my way soon. Okay, Nathan. As you know, the exhibit will continue as planned. Of course, we lost our original lead painting, but we'll be revealing this new one instead. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we lost a good client thanks to you. But this piece has the potential to bring some new ones with tonight's event. If we cure him correctly, he'll do a healthy recovery. His sight will be gone entirely, though. Yes, but he can still be useful. What about your friend? If he decides to stay, he'll be one of the strongest pillars sustaining this group. And Nathan? Nathan's blindness will end tonight. Good evening, everybody. Tonight, we have a wonderful selection of pieces from various artists from all over the world. This collection is one of the best we've ever showcased. From watercolors to oil to charcoal, tonight's paintings portray a great deal of skills from their creators. And now, it is my distinct pleasure to present tonight's leading piece. Take a moment to enjoy the colors, the skill, the art. Browse around and of course help yourself to the delicious selection of food and beverages at the buffet. Have fun everyone, and thank you for coming. Good evening, Nathan. Hello, Alexander. I didn't expect to see you here tonight. My son Christian heard about the exhibit in school, so Lorna and I decided to bring him. He loves our class, so we thought it was a good idea. That's good. I hope he enjoys it. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just... <sighs> Forget it. 
I gotta say, Alexander, I never expected us to be talking like this after facing each other in court. To be honest, I feel the same way, but now it's different. Now I know you're innocent, and I can't point fingers at you anymore. What about your brother? Unfortunately, Levi's decisions have affected my life and his life deeply. What he did is something I will never be able to forget, but he will always be my brother. What about forgive? Do you forgive Levi for what he did? I think his silence says it all. Levi! What are you doing here? Once again, I've realized you've chosen him over me, Alex. Levi, what are you doing? Put that down. Remember who you are. Don't go back. Shut up! This is who I am now. Everybody sees me as a killer, so I have nothing to lose. You're a dead man, Nathan. Levi, stop! My brother, please! I'm not your brother, Alex. You've chosen someone else to carry that title now. This... this idiot! You are my family, but you're taking the wrong path. Levi, please, put the gun down. Don't make the same mistake again. Shut up! Shut up! I'm so sick of you, Nathan. I just want to see you dead. Levi, no! to you tomorrow. We have a new art piece to collect. <laughs>